Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr G TV talking about the sanctity there's an old world sanctity of life just been to visit a dear friend of mine who's um, got an elderly father that's uh, not doing so well at the moment and uh, sending him, him healing and wishing well and supporting my friend who's the son and it brings back memories of me 2010 when my father passed away and uh, what you go through what you do and we're all in these situations aren't we you know we don't live forever it's going to happen to us it happens to our loved ones we hope that everybody lives to a ripe old age but that's not everybody's story it's my belief that you can't choose when you come into this world and you don't choose when you go out of this world all you can do is the best you can whilst you're here but if you're able-bodied or not if you have an ounce of breath in you and you're able to lift the spirits and to motivate and make somebody else feel good then why wouldn't you do that? And I'm driving away now from my friend and he's going through his story, as I say, a story that I went through 12 years ago with my father. And it's gonna to happen to me, it's gonna to happen to you. We're going to want that support at the end of our lives. We're going to want that compassion, that love, that constructive, kindness when we're in our hour of need there's plenty of people at the moment who are in their hour of need they might be end of life or not they might be going through situations that you're not aware of or not we never know the stories that people are living through so this is why, for me, it's unkind to be unkind. And it's kind to be kind. And your kindness, your warmth, your smile, your positivity, your genuine care and concern, not just lip service, love and light, and hope you're okay, and let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And then you walk away and forget but a genuine offer of warmth and friendship and a helping hand is so important, particularly in challenging times at the moment. People, as I witness them, are in fear. People are in confusion, chaos, they're bewildered, they're overwhelmed. And as these situations these crises increase energy bills, interest rates, financial crash, food shortages, lack of resources, NHS situations where you can't see a GP and you can't get into a hospital and operations are being delayed endlessly and everything else that's going on, the wars, the famine, the refugees, immigration challenges, all the pantomime at Westminster, and so many more things that are gonna come as I'm making this now towards the end of October 2022, as we go into November, December, and into the really cold months where even the food banks are struggling and closing and libraries are closing which are considered to be warm safe spaces for people. Communities are changing, societies are changing, people are changing. What do you do? You do the best you can with what you've got right now and you go into yourself and you find those resources deep down and 
taking your step up. And I've said many times before that there's nothing better than you can do to raise your own self-esteem and find ways of raising somebody else's self-esteem. And whether it's somebody that's end of life, somebody that's ill, somebody that's lonely, somebody that's disabled or abled or infirm or forgetful, dementia, senility. It's not hard to see where you're needed, but if you just selfishly or maybe blindly just live your day for yourself, unaware that you can make such a difference in somebody else's day. Just knocking on the door and saying, are you okay, Mrs. Smith? Are you okay, Mr. Jones? Do you want me to walk your dog? Can I get anything from the shops for you? Anything that you need doing? Or just taking some food round, baking a cake for these people that can't do it for themselves. Holding a door open, helping somebody cross the road, assisting somebody who's struggling to do something in a shop. Instead of just being unaware or selfish and just looking after number one, as we say. I'm okay, Jack. That's not the person I am. It's not the person that I want to be. It's not the world that I want to see. The world that I want to see comes from you and me, and we can make such a massive difference in these challenging times. Just by stepping up and looking after ourselves and getting on a mission, making people feel important and being kind and not blind to other people's needs. We never know when our number's up. We never know when we're going to leave this mortal coil. And what you say and do might be the last words or the last act of kindness that somebody experiences. Be kind, guys. Be kind, be loving, be positive, be constructive, be powerful. You and me can make a change in the world that we see. Be the change that's needed in the world right now. Be powerful, enjoy your mind.